Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Woken. Today, we just fought off a big old demon, and we are going to be delving into the incubation chambers to retrieve the piece of the hellion. So let's go ahead, and without further ado, let's get going. Place is demolished. They're also all saying charming, which I don't like. This must be where Cordon's contamination started. You got this. Don't turn around. Oh God. Alright. Let's go. Hey, starting the video strong with a level up. I like it. We have pretty even stats around the board. I do want to up our burn chance more, though. All right, and I believe we were going straight for this uh, Ebenezer Accord. All right. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be the one, and then Elemental Damage. Yeah, yeah, this will work. Okay, we're probably gonna hit this one, go here. And then after that, I believe we're probably gonna pop in a little bit of life leech, go here, we'll get uh, increased damage for enemies in range, and then we're gonna pop on over and multiply ailment stacks and see if we can get this uh, more max ailment stacks by going this way. Yeah, okay. That seems like a good idea. Alright, let's go. Oh, we also have another point, I guess, that we could put in. Nothing really works that well for us, so we're just going to stick with fire. But uh, if we ever end up switching around our build... Taking a lot of damage, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, let's go up. That, however, does feel good. Okay, uh, anything else we need here? Crit chance score? Not really. Critical damage dealt. Eh. Yeah, no, nothing much here. Ooh, there's an offering shrine up there. I can see it. Ow. Okay. Alright, we need to... Take these guys out. Those are, I think, the biggest threat to us. Is these little projectiles. There we go. That's a little better. Offering shrine. Anything good? Um, not really. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now we're getting back in the swing of things. Anything here? Buff to all resist per enemy hit. Let's go ahead and do that. 
And then critical chance score, don't really need. Okay. I do like the stun on our uh, Sovereign Shot. That's actually really, really helpful. Just stunning a big group of enemies. Okay. Ooh, another ethereal region? That's two already. Oh, and one of them is an Erebentir? Yo, let's go. So, if you guys are unfamiliar, Erebentirs are the most helpful as you just consume all your gems and you just add a random magic effect instead of like re-rolling a current one so it would just add another modifier onto whatever weapon or armor you want okay too many things yeah that life leech is gonna be handy i think i think we're definitely gonna be wanting some of that life leech okay what else do we have in our build? We just have the burn stacks, and we're about to get this. Okay. There we go. Okay. Thought another regent popped up there for a second. Ow! I hate these things. They are so annoying. Freaking projectiles just everywhere. Die. Good God. This blows. Increase the damage for every ailment stack enemy has. Hmm. Could be helpful later on. Yeah, we definitely are going to have to have that life leech. Otherwise, we're just going to keep dying, I think. Unless I actually start using my health potions like I uh, should be doing. Oh my god, another region. Ow. Oh my god, dude. I can't dodge roll or anything. Die! It's these little fuckers. Get out of here. Spin, 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 spin. There we go. Come on. Get out of here. Good lord. Too many things. Too many things and not enough health. Okay. Okay. Um. Just taking so much damage. I dodge roll, please. Good lord. This game's like not letting me dodge roll. Also, uh, we are playing. They just actually patched today to where if you're channeling a skill like Blade Storm or Parasite or something along those lines, uh, you can actually use your potions while you're doing so, which is gigantic for channeler classes. Agree. What is that? Oh my god. These are all 
bodies of Valeria. That's disgusting. Holy crap. I don't think I've ever noticed that all those bodies were actually Valeria. I just knew that they were, oh, big old pile of bodies. All of those are Valeria. Ooh. These pants better? How much damage, and what chance score? No, I don't think they are. Stop! Stupid little projectile things. Jesus. I hate the little projectiles. They're incredibly obnoxious. Okay. move forward a little bit without dying hopefully now we have buffed all resist there we go how long does that last that's a decent amount of time almost feel like I should have sovereign shout to pop first but then I have less uh willpower to cast all of our uh, spells with. Okay. Okay, we actually are in the next area. Perfect. And we have exactly enough things to go sell. Let's go ahead and go sell real fast. Okay, so when we were in town, we actually went ahead and finally put in some gem sockets. So now we have extra fire damage being added to our spells with uh, our offensive one, and then extra burn chance score, extra burn chance score, and then extra all resist. So I think that's actually gonna help us out quite a bit. Yeah, 43% chance. I think we were like at 30 something beforehand. So this should help us a lot trying to apply our uh, burn and whatnot. Okay just to get these fire stacks underway. That's Hemlock. You copied Hemlock too. I guess I'm next on the list. Strength. What are you talking about? Modified by who? Your energy signature is undefinable and absolute. As if every part of the universe were merged into it. Or the mere being of an absurd amount of power could make an human strain gifted with the ability to feed from your energy and replicate. That's why you couldn't copy us. It seems even you have limits, Lambai. Indeed. Our limits. Nothing anything we could replicate is held in spirit. 
I can see that. Okay, well that's a lot to unpack. It is however many dungeon down here, so let's go ahead and do that. so slow. Burn, 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 burn. Okay. That was a lot of damage. God, that's much better. Elemental image chance score is huge. Fire attacks on physical attack. Oh my god. That minimum damage is as high as our max damage. As our okay. We need to go uh, fix this up real quick. Also, is this better? Elemental damage. Agility, ailment chance. Oh, that's, yeah, that's actually better than we have on. This one... This one's better. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and be right back. We're gonna fix this up to be a good weapon. So give me one moment here. Okay, we're back. So what we ended up doing, we ended up uh, equipping it with two burn ailment damages. So now our burn, yeah, all the way up to 178 now. Okay. That's good. That's very, very good for us. I don't care about that. Let's go ahead and go back up. So many bodies. Delve deeper. This is so much more damage, good god. Ooh, hello. There 
There we go. Okay, we can, we're doing okay on this then. Head this way. Follow the blood trail. Ow. Nice. Some very respectable damage. I would like to keep, I would like to hit this up to 50 because this has actually reduced. We're at 29.6 to stack it. So let's go ahead and keep going on this. Now we're at 30, nice. That's exactly what we want to see. Go ahead and hit that up there. So as soon as we hit the five stacks, it does consume them. So I'm wondering how, just how like fast we could continue to proc those. And then we're going to be stacking shock stacks as well because of these two. So more importantly, anomaly. So we should be able to hit a lot of good uh, DPS with the continually uh, proccing fire stacks, which explode on top of, hold on, just explode all those real fast, we got, nope, nest of wealth omens, all right, get back here, There's one. There's one. Oh my god, there's so many. Come back. Come on, come on, come on. There's so many. No! Get back. No, come, come back, come back. Ow! I dropped. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's so many of them. Die, 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 die. You too, you die. Holy crap. We might have to go back just off of that. Good lord. Killed one over here. <laughs> we have to take multiple trips. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Go ahead and pick up those up. What is that sound? Is that just the continued sound of Wealth Omens? Well, that's fun. That's fun, bug. Alright, 
Shout. Any better? Duration of buffs. Sure. Die. Okay. Okay, event completed. Okay. There we go. Much better. Anything good? Sacred damage out of spells, eh? Not really. Bruiser piece. Mainly going for stuff with bruiser, heavy. That's really it. Ooh, hold on. Oh, that's better. Let's go ahead and equip that. Okay, good. And it should be the final blood trails. <laughs> Oh, legendary belt? Oh, what do we get? Hold up. Oh, and it's a spell damage one? Minus attack, cr attack critical chance score. Specifically attack. Elemental damage, 0.3% global light. This is. That's pretty good. I don't like the physical and toxic damage added to attacks. That's kind of meh. But other than that, it's a pretty good belt. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and wear it. Ooh. Just 9% damage, just straight. I'll take that. Thank you. Okay, cool. That worked very well. Oh, hello. And in we go. Another primordial catalyst like the one below Stormfall. It's redirecting Cordonon's energy towards the complex. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, back here. This is... Oh, the land back. Let's go ahead and sell first. Alright. Let's go. of the Hellion was. I don't see anything. You did not lie. The previous bearer of the artifact reached our chamber to defy us. The relic you want joins the wheel. You may enter and contact with it once you have provided us your organic maps. But it is inside of us. You ate it? Oh, come on, come back. I've had enough of your games. We finish this right now. destroy these things.
Okay, we're doing some okay DPS. Ow! God. I have to try to dodge that. Oh God. That was a lot of damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Ow. Oh, come on. Either it's dead, or it's really pissed off. Oh. Ow. There's so many of those things. Good God. Oh. Okay. Vulnerable. Whew. Close dodges. Oh god, ow. Ow. Ow! That hurt. Oh! 
Oh god! Who? Who? Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on. They're low, they're low, they're low! Boss defeated. We did it. Holy crap, dude. Let's go ahead and uh, go give the Hellion to Grenez, I suppose. in the northern barrens known as the Red Wastes. Yes? Yeah, it checks out. This fortress is known even amongst Republicans with secrecy. I'm not surprised that they were using it to quarantine this monolith. Well, we know what we have to do. Hand me the piece of the Hellion and get ready to depart. The road ahead won't be pleasant. Hey, you know the legendary belt. Is this one better? This one's max health. No. 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 Definitely not. And. Wow. All of these are somehow worse. <laughs> Rip. Journey to Vault Truth. Accepting will transition you and your party to Chapter 3. Well, that actually seems like a pretty decent place to stop. Uh, we'll journey to Act 3 on uh, the next episode. Thank you guys very much for tuning in and watching. We will be leveling up and get more strong in this next couple parts. And Chapter 3 is quite a doozy with a lot of tough fights. So, hope to see you guys there.
Remember, like, comment, subscribe down below. Follow us over on Twitch at the underscore Sokobo. Hope to see you guys there. A peace out. Thank you.